me to one that asks, what's best for America? What's best for all our workers? What's best for all of our businesses? What's best for all of our children? These values are not Democratic or Republican. They are not conservative or liberal values. They are American values. As Democrats, we take pride in what our party has accomplished over the last century. Social Security and the minimum wage, the GI Bill and Medicare, civil rights and workers' rights and women's rights. But, but we also recognize that throughout our history, there has been a noble Republican vision as well of what this country can be. It was the vision of Abraham Lincoln, who set up the first land-grant colleges and launched the Transcontinental Railroad. The vision of Teddy Roosevelt, who used the power of government to break up monopolies. The vision of Dwight Eisenhower, who helped build the interstate highway system. And yes, the vision of Ronald Reagan, who, despite his aversion to government, was willing to help save Social Security for future generations, working with Democrats. These were serious leaders for serious times. They were great politicians, but they didn't spend all their time playing games or scoring points. They didn't always prey on people's fears and anxieties. They made mistakes, but they did what they thought was in the best interests of their country and its people. And that's what the American people expect of us today. Democrats, independents, and Republicans. That's the debate they deserve. That's the leadership we owe them. I know that folks are worried about the future. I know there's still a lot of hurt out there. And when times are tough, I know it can be tempting to give in to cynicism and fear and doubt and division, to just settle our sights a little bit lower, settle for something a little bit less. But that's not who we are, Ohio. Those are not the values that built this country. We are here today because, in the worst of times, the people who came before us brought out the best in America. Because our parents and our grandparents and our great-grandparents were willing to work and sacrifice for us. They were willing to take great risks and face great hardship and reach for a future that would give us the chance at a better life. They knew that this country is greater than the sum of its parts. That America is not about the ambitions of any one individual, but the aspirations of an entire people, an entire nation. That's who we are. That is our legacy. And I'm convinced that if we're willing to summon those values today, and if we're willing to choose hope over fear, and choose the future over the past and come together once more around the great project of national renewal, then we will restore our economy and rebuild our middle class and reclaim the American dream for the next generation. Thank you. God bless you. And may God bless the United States of America. Thank you.
president wrapping up remarks from Parma, Ohio this afternoon, laying out his case to make tax cuts for the middle class permanent. He also responded to Republican leader John Boehner this afternoon, who spoke in Ohio last week and called for the president